Okay, so this is a video uh, uh, that I'm going to try and work out why this has got no audio. Um, now, the cartridge in here at the moment is a test cartridge that I wrote, um, and at the moment it's kind of playing the uh, the Game Boy kind of ding ding over and over again, um, and it's sw flipping back and forth between left and right channel. Now, um, I know it works because I mean I just tested it, but also if I stick in my headphones. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but so there's a ding happening out of the headphones, but it's only happening on the left ear, um, and the cart or the ROM will um, send the sound to the left ear, right ear, left ear, right ear. So it allows me to test what's going on. But when I take the um, plug out, there's obviously no sound. So there's something wrong with um, the board. Now. The places to start with the speaker is um, uh, is usually just uh, uh, continuity on the speaker itself. So if I've got continuity just on these two, it means that the speaker itself is working. Um, so I can rule out the speaker being a problem. Um, it's a possibility that this um, uh, capacitor is blown. Uh, it looks fine, but it's worth uh, checking. Um, uh, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to kind of, oops, uh, whether I'm going to obscure that as I kind of do it, but uh, stick with that. Oh god, I hate testing capacitors. Yeah, so 100, uh, whatever, 100 um, farads, whatever. It's fine, so the capacitor is fine itself. Um, so that means that the whole of the front board, it's very likely the whole of the front board is fine. Um, and yeah, you can, I mean, I'm sure you can hear that, but there's some sound coming out of here at the moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the board and uh, the front board and just focus on the uh, main board. So I'm running it through power and you can see I have an oscilloscope sitting in the background. Um, I've tried to prop it up so you can kind of capture what's happening here. Um, what I'm going to do is stick my negative probe into uh, basically a main ground uh, point and the first place I want to uh, check, I'm going to try and zoom in, I'm filming on my phone, I've never really done this before. Um, the place that I'm going to uh, probe first are the volume uh, potentiometer. So um, the way this goes is uh, right pre-volume, pre basically, pre-pot, uh, right, left, left, post-pot, left, uh, sorry, right, post-pot, and then ground. Um, so if I probe these top two, I should be getting kind of a, a, a repeating signal on the um, oscilloscope. So uh, I'm gonna do that now, uh, stick on the right signal. Um, and you might be able to see it jump a little bit. I'll try and get a better signal. Yeah, so you can see it kind of really bouncing. So that's the audio playing on the right ear. Um, and that's the, the bing, basically. And this is the left ear. So we can see that the sound before it comes into the uh, volume wheel is definitely working. Um, so now I'm going to check the left ear on the volume out. Very quiet. So I've got the volume all the way up. Still pretty small, but it's still there. And the right ear. Okay. So we know that the sound here is still working. Um, so, I mean, there's two problems. One is that there's no sound coming out to the the L, uh, L, LCD board. Um, and that comes from this ribbon here. Uh, again, I'm just gonna try and zoom a bit whilst we're looking at this. So that comes into, uh, the sound comes into here. It goes out of the, um, the, the volume wheel, goes across into the uh, amp, which is underneath this, this side, and then goes back up and across into pin 20. So if we look, if I look at pin 20 with the oscilloscope, I should be seeing um, a signal if it's being sent to um, 
the speaker. I'm just hitting the auto on um, uh, on my oscilloscope just to kind of reconfigure it. And it, there's nothing, there's nothing kind of bouncing here, so I can see there's no audio, which is consistent with not being able to hear anything. Um, so I, I previously I've spent quite a while trying to work out what the hell's going on, um, and there are also two boards. I mean, this is pretty beaten up, and you might be able to see kind of. There's a bit of corrosion going on here. This looks pretty messed up. Um, and there's also some corrosion on um, the pins. And in fact, the games couldn't, I couldn't load a game a few minutes ago. I had to clean it completely. Um, so the, 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 the things, uh, what I was gonna say is um, the boards are different between the kind of blob and um, uh, IC base boards. Um, in particular, the root going from uh, the amp out to pin 21 is slightly different on uh, the blob baseboards. This is uh, the IC baseboard, so, um, and it will have a number uh, CPU05, so it's got the, uh, the actual chip there rather than the blob, uh, which makes things a little bit easier to debug. Now I know from the schematics, um, and I'll post a link to the schematic in the description, uh, that the audio is coming out of pin three on the amp, and um, uh, so that's that's another place that we can look. Uh, but before I even start looking at that, actually an area to look at is the uh, audio jack, because inside of the audio jack is a switch that says when the headphones are plugged in, cut off the audio to um, uh, the speaker, so that it only comes out of either the headphones or the speaker. And when there's, there's no, um, when there's no, headphone jack plugged in, it should be letting a, um, a pin, a, a pin, a switch inside of here. So let's see if I can zoom in again. Uh, so I'm not sure how, if I can go any further. Inside of there is a switch. Now if I get the headphone jack, just bear with me for one second. So headphone jack going in, you see that little kind of pushing part? That is pushing the switch. So that's the switch that I'm talking about. And when that's open, that should be allowing the audio to play. Um, and the way that we're gonna test that is continuity on this white pin, this, this white um, lead. So I'll grab continuity. Uh, let's put the lights on so we can see. Oh, we don't need to see, we just need a bit of here. Um, and what I'm testing for is whether this goes to ground. And it is not. And I believe that it should be going to ground if um, that pin is open and allows the speaker to play. The thing about doing a boatload of uh, refurbs at once, I happen to have loads of... Uh, boards knocking around. So here's a, uh, a reference board. So you know, if you're doing repair, it makes sense to have some kind of reference or it's very hard not to do, not to have a reference or to fix something without reference. So I'm just gonna probe um, on the multimeter the this white lead and just stick it into ground. Um, and that doesn't work, but actually that one's fucked as well. Totally different thing. Um, you can see all of the traces are mounted there. So let me grab a different board that is definitely working. Um, so many boards to choose from. All right, I know that this one's working. Okay, so I can't remember what I expect here, um, but I've got this white, uh, the, the white pin, and let's go to ground. Yeah, okay, so we've got continuity. Right, so this should be this white pin should be grounded when that there is no um, uh, headphone jack plugged in. So let's just make sure I've definitely got a good connection. Yeah. Okay. So that isn't happening. So that makes me think that this pin inside of here is not um, closing properly. So what I'm going to do is. Um, I mean, to be fair, this is the other side. Let's go a little bit closer. It's looking 
a bit gnarly on that side, um, a bit of corrosion there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just um, give it a clean, basically, and try and get... Uh, what am I going to do? Just just clean it to start off with, and then if I need to, try and get a, um, where is a, a set of tweezers inside of there to see if I can get that that button to clear, because there's probably um, some corrosion between the um, the two metal pieces, basically, uh, closing the connection. So let's go back and do that. I'm going to pull the power out. I'm going to hope that the game or the ROM loads up again. I have got um, some IPA. Uh, so for a long time I thought IPA was just alcohol. I mean, it is alcohol, but it's not uh, lager or beer. Um, and I'm gonna take my special toothbrush and I'm gonna get those ends nice and alcoholed up. I'm gonna wedge it right in there. So, this probably isn't going to be a very good long-term fix, but it's certainly going to prove whether that that's the problem. Um, so I'm trying to kind of wedge the bristles of the um, toothbrush kind of down there to get a join and get it out of the way. And I think what I'm going to also do is get a... Um, what are they called? Pokey thing. Pokemon. I'm gonna stick a Pokemon down there. Pokemon, Pokey thing. Uh, just to try and get it clear out of the way. If I'm gonna see what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. Just try to scratch out whatever's down there. I did this on another board recently, this very same thing, and it did solve the audio in one go. I spent ages trying to work out where it was going wrong, and I just didn't remember to check the switch in here. I don't know if I'm picking some crap out. I, mean, I might as well zoom into what I'm doing. Sorry, the whole thing kind of judders when I'm zooming. All right. So I'm kind of wedging into here and getting in between that switch, trying to clean it out. In fact, actually, it should be. It should be separated. I can't remember. Yeah, it shouldn't be pressing against it. Um, right, it shouldn't be pressing against it, and it presses against it when the um, audio jack goes in. So I'm also gonna just uh, in and out a few times just to kind of get the thing moving a bit. So I think you might be able to see the mechanism kind of moving there. Okay, so let's plug that back in again. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's, um, well, I'm going to put the screen back on because the whole thing wasn't loading the, um, the ROM, the, the cart properly. So I'll pop the screen back on for a second. Yeah, okay. It's showing me my, my ROM, so it should be repeating the sound. Uh, the fact I didn't hear any sound coming out the back of that is not a great sign, but we're going to go back to probing um, pin 20 uh, on the board. Sorry, again, about the wobbling. All right, so pin 20. And we don't have anything, so that sucks. So um, I'm gonna flip it over. All right, so on here, we're now we're looking at, or trying to find the, uh, that's not a good view, is it? I'm gonna be looking at the amp, so the amp is just here. Let's zoom in a bit more. All right, so I'm trying to get as far in as possible. The amp is just there. Um, so we've got a few things in our way, but pin three should be uh, one, two, three off that direction. And it runs up 
past this capacitor just here. Um, so I can either probe uh, one, two, three, that pin there. Um, I'm just going to probe that zoomed in for the time being. I'm going to tell you I'm not seeing anything. Um, and the other thing I can do is probe the negative leg of the um, of the capacitor. And I can see the same kind of thing. There's no um, there's no audio. Uh, now, even though I cleaned the, the switch, I didn't bother testing it, did I? So, just going back and forth a little bit here, aren't I? Let's give that a try. So this should be um, grounded. Yeah, okay, so we've got ground, that's good. That means that that it says it's unplugged. Um, so, what are we doing now? <clears throat> I'm going to check the headphones. Just going to plug the headphones back in. Check there's actually sound. No, there's not. So it could be that the game didn't load properly. So this is the. There you go, that's the thing loading now. Oh, and in fact, the, I'm not sure if you can hear that or not from the headphones, but that's the sound bouncing out left and right. So it could have been just a contact problem on uh, there. So that's good. So that means we've got sound working on the uh, headphones left and right jack, which is exactly what we wanted. And now I want to probe, I'm going to pro reprobe pin 20, come on. Have you got anything? There's still no sound. Right, so I do have the schematics way off screen. Um, and what I'm looking for is I want to follow the line from the amp to see exactly where it comes up to pin, uh, what did I say, 20, 21. Oh, way up. No, I haven't got the wrong way around. It's 20 there. 21 over there, pin. Pin 1, pin 21, yeah. I'm looking at a schematic where the numbers are back to front. Or I'm looking at the completely wrong schematic. I might probe over here just to see what's going on. Uh, where do you want that one? No, there's nothing there. Okay. So, I need to find pin 3 on the, um, on the board here. Pin 3 is at the top, third one in. So the first two are bound to each other, and pin three is this one. Something happened. Is that me sliding off the pin, or it's problem I can't? So I'm having to manually zoom to my eyeballs. Right. So, again, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but pin three comes up out of here and goes up past 
the leg of that capacitor. So I go by that capacitor. So if I um, if I measure off of that capacitor leg, I should be seeing the audio and get a decent grip on the damn thing. Yeah, nothing's happening there. So I'm going to turn off. There it is. Okay. So you can see the capacitor, the, uh, the, the oscillator, you can see it coming through that capacitor. That's the signal we're looking for. So that then goes, uh, where's that go? That goes round the houses. That goes into a via that I can't get to. I think the via is the via or via, but that that's the uh, uh, the amp there, and then. Um, Which one's this one? I can't remember. But we do, yeah, we come into a wire. It's a, I don't think it's one of these. It's one that goes straight up. I think it's underneath here somewhere. Um, and then it goes. The, um, let me see, the uh, the schematic I've got is wrong, it's not wrong, just, is flipped? Or I'm looking at the wrong bit? So there should be a path coming up on the back here, going up. And it doesn't really come out at that point, so I'm just gonna look at pin 20 again. Right, I'm gonna hold on to pin 20 and then drop, uh, cut the power. No, what am I doing? I have to change hands. I'm not right-handed, but I have to do. Yeah. Okay, sitting on pin twenty. That's the audio there. That was the ping from the, the cart loading. I think that it's still got problems loading the cart, but I think what I did, the cleanup I did inside of here has actually fixed it. Um, so I'm just gonna reattach the front and just give that a try. Uh, I think that the cart might not be loading anymore. Um, yeah, if I just heard the speaker click. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, so that's the speaker working, um, and it's it's now working. So that was a more thorough kind of investigation as to why audio might not work. I always test um, the headphone jack because that is going to be um, a clue as to what's going on. Um, that cart, the ROM that I've made has been designed so that I can look at um, problems with audio without actually having to have the screen attached. Um, and the oscillator is a bit over the top, but it can tell me what's going on. Um, I kind of wish I could just attach a speaker to those points, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, and then the, like I said, the interesting parts are, uh, these five pins here, the, uh, the pattern being right, left, left, right, uh, for pre-pot and then post-pot, um, 
and it lets me do my, it means I can do things like a, an internal um, pro sound um, and I can trace these to uh, so these these kind of run underneath this the, the, the copper then go through a wire at this point um, and they end up where do they end up they end up uh, which way are they going this way they come out into the these two capacitors are for the left ear and the right ear um, and then they kind of run across um, and they I think it comes out of the CPU and then these wires here run into the um, the amp and then the amp kind of goes back out to the speakers so yeah that is debugging uh, audio on uh, a DMG um, a one small thing to one last thing to add the layout is marginally different between a blob based and an IC based and the thing that I struggled the most with was looking it was finding pin 3 on uh, this blob because you can't see where the pin comes out um, but the thing to look for and someone on uh, reddit solved this for me is that pin 3 touches uh, this capacitor C8 um, on the positive leg um, so regardless of not knowing you know where it's coming out we know that it comes by this this capacitor here so we can pick up that leg and be able to probe for um, audio going out to uh, the speaker basically the, go, going out to the um, the LCD board so yeah that's it um, hopefully that's useful to someone debugging audio